Hi everyone, Renee here. As you can tell, I have a special guest with me, my favorite glow specialist and a regular on, on this channel, Sarah from Glow Hi, Recipe. Hi, thanks for having me again. No, it's always a pleasure. We always have a lot of fun when you're I here, know, so. I love it. Hey, I have Sarah with me today because I've been really interested in this a new sort of skin revolution that you've brought from Korea to the States called the Seven Toner Method. Yes, or Seven Skin Method. Seven skin, okay. Yeah, because skin is also a name for toner as well, In right? Korean, which is crazy because it's like... Like we need more names for products right. <laughs> There's too in much. our skincare routines. Yeah, and why is toner called skin in Korea is what I do get asked a lot. And the reason is Koreans believe that after cleansing that you want to start prepping your skin, softening it with the right toner. And therefore, you're having this new skin um, through a toner. In a way, it's good because it's sort of redefining the step, which a lot of people, you know, see in a very outdated way, which is, okay, a toner is here to remove the rest of your makeup, the remnants, or to just, you know, balance the pH, and, and that's it. Toners these days are so much more. They're first essences. Exactly. They totally prepare your skin. They soften it. They refill it with nutrients after cleansing. We all know, and we're obsessed with hydration, yeah. that Korean women love, love, love hydration from the very first step of the skincare routine. This whole um, evolution of toners that are hydrating is kind of like an essential step now. I don't think anyone that I know, at least in Korea, uses a toner that doesn't hydrate. Or a skin. A skin. <laughs> so now we have hydrating skin. First, we have first treatment essence, we have toners, and we have skin. These are all the first step after cleansing. Yeah. Just it's to be clear. It's a similar category. When I first started hearing about this um, seven skin method, the first thing that went through my mind was, come on. <laughs> Is this something that was dreamed up by, you know, cosmetic companies to make us use up our products more? Actually, I originally thought, now we need seven toners in our routine. <laughs> like seven different types yeah. of, you know, um, first treatment products. Um, but that actually isn't the case. This actually changed my skincare routine. And I'm not saying that to have you use more toners. I'm saying that because I have oily to combination skin. Mm -hmm. Dermatologists in Korea yeah. are recommending this for people with oily skin. Yeah. yeah, and that's how it started. This actually started last summer in 2016 in okay. Korea where oilier combination skin types were struggling to moisturize but still were afraid to try anything that was too thick um, because they were afraid of the sebum production on the T-zone. I mean, people think that it gets humid in New York oh, in the summer. The whole summers are brutal. Average 99% humidity sometimes. Super it's, humid. It's not yeah. even raining, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what I've noticed is that a lot of these oily to combination skin types were raving about this because they were so hydrated and plumped after using this that they could just go right to the makeup step right after. Oh really? So they don't even need a moisturizer? No. And then, so in the summer, everybody with my skin type were raving about it in mm -hmm. Korea. In the winter, and this is when I discovered it more actually, because I was just seeing it everywhere, it was so viral. These were now the dry skin types that mm -hmm. were saying, wait a minute, we love it too. Because yeah. we're trying everything and anything to just you know, hydrate my parched, dehydrated skin. Yeah. And this is actually a really efficient way. Coming back to the States has been a disaster for my skin. <laughs> I was actually like telling her, this is, it's been so difficult for me to climatize back to this insanely dry weather. This has really helped a lot. You're just basically packing in the hydration. Yeah. And your skin is actually absorbing it. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you know, there are different toners that are suitable for different skin types. Well, I think this is great because you and I have different skin types. Yeah. So I can already tell you that for me, I love watery textures. Um, whether it's a toner or an essence mm -hmm. because I just love it when it absorbs quickly but still have that um, radiance going on right after yeah. and one thing that we try to avoid is anything with alcohol um, yeah. for this, especially for this method. Maybe toners with AHA um, you oh, have a lot of those. Yeah, no, no, no. Right? You can't. Don't, yeah. don't do it with the Don't do that with 
you know, layers and layers. But yeah, definitely that's a very, very good point. No acids. But for this method, once again, it's important to find this easier formula with less active ingredients, but just the, yeah. the yeah, hydrating properties. If you're trying a new method, it's important to kind of figure things out, whether it's the ingredient. Yeah, you want something pure. Pure. Yeah. Um, even with the texture, you want to go with something that's lighter versus thicker and then kind of work your way up mm -hmm. um, because it's really important to understand what your skin kind of feels comfortable with. That's another good reason to start off with maybe three layers, just see how your skin reacts. I'm a little indulgent, so here I am saying, oh my god, this is too high maintenance, but now <laughs> that I'm sort of embracing it, or at least experimenting with it, um, I am actually incorporating like thinner toners, mm -hmm. the more watery toners or essences, fresh treatment essences, maybe doing a couple of layers and then working my way up to like the Wamisa, yeah, you know, the essence toner. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But also I like to put in all my um, ordinary serums in there as well. So oh, yeah, wow. yeah, I put a layer of like the buffet or oh, I put a layer, you know, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's amazing how many things you could actually put in this. Yeah. It's and actually fun. It's like cocktailing. Which one should I use? Yeah, I'm gonna do the eight nourishing beans. I'm just gonna stick with this one for, for the demo because I this is what I'm using every day. So of course this comes right after cleansing your skin. You just wanna use a dime-sized amount. So what I like to do is gently rub it and then just go straight to the U-zone and then the T-zone. The U-zone is the cheeks and the chin because these are the drier areas and then the T-zone tends to be oilier. This is really the optimal way to apply, especially for those that have combination skin types. You know what? That's perfect because that means most of it goes here first. Exactly. And then the leftovers go yeah. here. And yeah. that's usually your dehydrated areas. Mm -hmm. And then never forget your neck. Yep. I like to massage it in an upwards motion. I can see that you're patting it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. so refreshing like I love how it feels when you first apply I a know, toner me too. it's like the first time it hits your skin it's so it's pampering like, already yeah it's just the hydration immediate oh I forgot my neck <laughs> I don't feel it needs as many layers as my face I mean that's true too <laughs> always some justify justification <laughs> see the thing is there's no wait time no. You can just go straight to the next layer because when you pat it, it just helps with the absorption. Well, also, I mean, these toners aren't really. They're you so know, watery, so they don't lightweight, leave something on your skin. Right. So, Sarah, do you actually pat these products into your eye area as well? Because I see a lot of people do it sometimes in their skincare routines. Like, they literally go straight over their eyes. Yeah, so I actually feel strongly against that because. A lot of the eye, um, a lot of the toners or even essences or serums are not tested for the eye area. So I don't recommend it. I don't ever actually apply toners on my eyes um, until, yeah, I would just go straight to the eye cream actually, if anything, for the eye area. Okay, no, I, I totally agree. I actually never apply these around my eye area. So at this point, I can already feel how hydrating this is. Oh my god, it's so... this fragrance for yeah. this product is You've so heavenly. Well, you just keep going. Best. They have the best... Okay, okay last, last. Alright, make it count. So for the last layer, after you're done with the padding, I love just gently pressing to make sure everything is sealed in to finish it off. Because my skin right now is ridiculously hydrated. You're glowing. Yeah, like so you're are you. Really glowing. <laughs> so are you. And when you start touching it, you see this bouncier texture. It's so bouncy. You know, in the summertime, which is when this whole method originated, it makes perfect sense because it's so humid. So sometimes you can just do the seven step method and then that's it, call it a day. You don't really need anything else other than sunscreen and, and you're set. Um, you have all the hydration you need without greasiness, oiliness, congestion. Um, the problem is once you hit winter time, 
as we know with humectants, you know, they can also effectively draw moisture out of our skin if yeah. the environment is really arid. So it's very, very important to always make sure you can seal that off so that it really kind of like stays, the hydration stays in your skin. Yeah. Again, sunscreen is a great way to do that. But what I've been doing, my routine has been really um, good. It's actually been very simple. It's pretty much, I do the seven step um, toner routine and then I'll use an oil on top of it. Oh yes. <laughs> I feel, I love oils on top of humectants. I mean, oils on top That's of- That's a great way. Any of kind of hyaluronic acid or it's just perfect. And it makes the oil perform better too. Actually, yeah. So it's the sun skin, then it's the oil, and then I'll put a moisturizer over it, um, and then sunscreen. So that's sort of that's been the my... dry skin type secret. Yeah, yeah it's for... been my most recent kind of skincare routine. Routine. I do it every other day. So I would cleanse, do the seven skin method, and then just moisturize. That's what I do. Yeah. Simple, just three steps. So I know a lot of you have already tried this method. We would love to hear what you think about it or if it's something you yeah. feel like you will try or not. Yeah, I'd love to hear your own method, mm -hmm. um, how you're using it. Are you just using one versus two? Or some people yeah. are using seven different toners, so. Why not? If you have, you know, I honestly think I have seven toners that I could probably use. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Well, thank you for watching. As always, thank you, Sarah, for coming on. And until next time, we're wishing you great skin health. Bye. Bye.